Hello everyone, we are here at the Yorkville Physiotherapy office at uh, Bamblor in Toronto. And uh, for the blog uh, entry this week, I'm going to talk about a technique that you can use to release um, muscle uh, tenderness uh, using a ball. Uh, this is a racquetball, which is a great ball to use. A uh, golf ball, if you're feeling a little bit harsh on yourself. A tennis ball is a great option as well. Um, road hockey ball, lacrosse ball, these are all options that I've seen people use. Uh, you know, the world is your oyster in terms of ball. Pick your favorite. All right? So, let's go over and take a look at how this might be done. Today, I'm going to work on, uh, on my shoulder girdle. I've got a little bit of shoulder girdle um, uh, tenderness. Uh, and that can happen because maybe you worked out extra hard that day. Um, uh, you've been guarding, right? If you've been guarding an injury, right? Sometimes you'll get some muscle soreness because of muscle guarding like that. I mean, there's a variety of reasons that you can have uh, muscle tenderness. And, and no matter what the reason, this can be a good technique uh, for, for doing a, a self-massage. It's like a poor man's deep tissue massage, which is, which is fun for everyone. So I'm going to take my, uh, my, my ball, my racquetball. I'm going to place it over the mus musculature in question. In this case, that's over the back side of my shoulder girdle back here. So I'm going to put my ball onto the wall and lean into it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hunt around, hunt around for my, my sore spot. There it is, right there. Okay. So I've got my sore spot, I've got, uh, I'm ready to go. What I'm going to do is I'm going to run the muscle over the pressure. So here's my muscle, here's the pressure point, and all I'm trying to do is move my body so that the muscle runs over that pressure point underneath, okay? So I can do, in this case, an external internal rotation like that. There it is. I can do a reach across like this. It really depends on the action of the musculature, and, and sometimes you might just have to play around with it a little bit. Depending on the muscle, different actions are better. Especially on those rotator cuff muscles, there's lots of different types of actions that are worth hunting around for to find the right type of thing for you, right? So you find the tender spot, and then you just move so that the muscle runs over the pressure point, okay? Let's say you've got a tennis elbow as another common example of where you might use this. Tennis elbow, uh, the musculature involved in that is that uh, stuff that's on the front side of your, of your forearm. It's the extensor musculature, the wrist extensor musculature. So you're going to find your tender spot, ball, musculature. Okay, there it is. There's my tender spot. I'm just going to extend the wrist like that. Right? Instant deep tissue massage. Not too comfortable, but you will feel good afterwards, right? It's a nice little release. And it's a good technique that you can use in any muscle in your body. So there you go. Find your favorite ball. Run your muscles underneath it. Do that for 30 seconds at a time. Try, you know, three to five sets of that and see how you feel afterwards.